Hello, welcome to Out of Town with Old Josh and episode 5 of my Bibbleman Trek. This episode covers um, Carry Valley Resort where I spent a very pleasant night. I actually had a nice lunch, a nice dinner and a very nice breakfast before leaving. Um, and goes as far as Lake Maringup. Uh, in this section I also stopped off in the town of Pemberton. In fact that was the first day's walk from um, Carry Valley about 30 odd kilometers and it was yeah it was a long walk for me anyway then there was a three-day section to Northcliffe where I stayed at um, a very nice farm stay um, and then on to uh, a couple of nights on the Pingrup Plains so um, didn't want to make it too long so that's as far as I get it was very wet I might add in some of these sections especially from Northcliffe um, down through um, Gardner campsite, which is on the Gardner River, um, and then on to Lake Maringup. And Lake Maringup's just beautiful. It's right on, obviously, a lake. And it had only just reopened. Um, that hut had been closed, and there was a diversion in place due to the depth of the water. Um, when I went through, it was only up to my knees, which was good. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Someone got their fire engine bogged on the Bibbleman track just across from Carry Valley. Beetle up full. A nice cool morning. This is the Tramway um, and Railway Museum in Pemberton. Well worth the trip. Uh, it takes you down the Warren River and um, down to the Cascades. It's a most enjoyable trip. $28 and um, yeah, nice way to spend a couple of hours. Quick resupply in Pemberton for the three day trip to Northcliffe. All right. <clears throat> Left Pemberton about half an hour ago. And here we are at the famous Gloucester tree. A fire spotter's lookout, which you can still climb to this day. Not that I think I will. And here is the tree. And it just goes up and up and up and up. And it makes you feel quite insignificant. I think Janet went up this one, at least part way up here. See, 53 meters above. quite so nice today a little light rain but that's the forested area we came out of some lovely fields here with a couple of soggy horses and we are heading up that track Right, day 36, 
just crossing over the Warren River on River Road Bridge. There doesn't seem to be much river. That's a bit of a funny old bridge. Made of old railway sleepers, I would say. And not very even. A bit of a wibbly wobbly bridge. Probably better put my phone away before I drop it down one of the cracks. These trees, almost as tall as me. I'm glad whoever chopped that down made a pathway through it. Another challenging tree across the track. Why they are big, I'm glad it wasn't one of those. Anyway, that's where we came from. And this is where we're heading. Onwards, downwards and upwards. Well, it turned up at a very nice hut called Schaefer, Schaefer campsite. And look, there's even a little swimming area, which I just swam in. It's a bit cold, but very, very nice. Yes, a lovely spot. And I'm on my own again. Okay, the little swimming hole. How nice is that, eh? The sound of frogs. Lovely little lake. Here's a change of scenery on the way from Schaefer to Northcliffe. That track goes on for miles. Just a nice grassy, sandy track. So I won't bore you with it anymore, but there are some nice trees with flowers. And some nice fields in the background. Another fine little babbling book. Not sure which river this is at the moment. It could be the gardener. I know that goes through Northcliffe on one side. Relaxing, eh? Too much chilli sauce on this barbecue. Just leaving Northcliffe. Seems to follow the railway line, or the old railway line. Don't think there's been a train down here in a few years. It's going to be quite warm today. 24 degrees forecast for Northcliffe. 29 up in Perth. 
not bad for a spring day, huh? Huh? Anyway, got to watch out for the muddy holes. Railway sleepers a trip over. Being a warm day, there may be some snakes. Right, just going across the beach, what did I show you? Purple flag. Yep, purple flag is the name of that flag. And another little bridge across the Gardner River. And it looks like it's falling down in places. How pretty is that? And a nice little wrapping. I put my stick stuck in the fence. <laughs> oh, that happened quickly. Less than four hours, and we're at the campsite for the day. That's the toilet, which looks pretty flat, and it's rammed earth and the hut itself is a rammed earth structure which they're all becoming now <clears throat> once a bushfire gets one they get... right back to the campsite before i was disturbed the outdoor table setting very nice Okay, on my way from Gardner campsite to Lake Maringup, and look at this mess. Looks like maybe a whole tree fell down. Luckily, there is a diversion through the bushes. <laughs> Oops. Just saw an eagle as well, which is pretty, pretty nice. The little birds aren't very happy with him, but he was magnificent. Anyway, onwards. And they claim on the map that this section is subject to inundation. And right now it looks pretty much like it's inundated. It's a bit, a bit sloshy on the sloshy scale. And now you get through that lot. Anyway, I will... Uh, let you know how I went. <laughs> right, I think we're still on the Gardner River. They don't mean for this bridge to be crossed by anything but people. It's well and truly blocked off. And here's the nice Gardner River. I'm a little damp, of course, because that puddle got the better of me, or the tree did that pushed me into it. <laughs> don't laugh. I'm not amused. It is nice and refreshing. Right. The big tall trees are thinning out and it's getting sandier and sandier. So my shoes are not only wet, Oh, now full of sand. <laughs> but it's okay. Socks are doing good. But it's quite nice country all the same. Back to some grass trees. And the sun's out. What could be better? Well, here I am sat in a tree that's totally blocking the track. I'll try and turn you around and show you what this mess is all about. Look at it. Anyway. That's where we're going. Um, so. 
good spot for lunch actually. There's my little lunch stop. The fallen tree. Right across the track. There's nowhere to go behind it. It's a massive tree. And I thought we were done with big trees. And there's the Gardner River flowing in the background. Anyway, campsite's only four kilometres. Lake Marinup. I'm looking forward to getting there and having a swim. Right, here we are, avoiding another deep puddle section. You have to go around the outside through the bush. I just hope there's no snakes or anything nasty in here. It really is um, a bit of a challenge. There's quite a big puddle, this one. Look at the tadpoles in there. Frogs, tadpoles, crocodiles, killer whales. But yeah, that's what you got to go around and not fall in. Well, I've had to admit defeat this time. It's just too long, too deep, too hard to get through the bush. So I've rolled me some trouser legs up and there's my nice shoes. My dirty girl gaiters. They're going to be wet girl gaiters in a minute. I'm just going to go straight through. Oh. <coughs> this is Lake Maringup Shelter and it looks like it's well and truly worth the walk just to get here. Excuse me, my feet are slightly damp. But they'll be right. You'll be right. Look at that lovely lake. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. What a cutie he is. Look at him. Don't know what he is, but he's come for lunch. Probably a white-breasted robin. Lake just about disappeared in the rain. Oh well, at least I got the shelter before it rained. <laughs> 